Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in Luminar AI and I wanted to walk through a couple of different examples of a sunset. And what I wanted to talk about here is basically why I think color balance, uh, that tool, which is a component of color harmony, why color balance is so powerful and useful on a sunset. I think when you're editing sunsets, you might naturally use something like golden hour, maybe split toning, may, maybe temperature and tint. And I use those a lot and they're fantastic. But Honestly, the color balance capability is just so powerful and so impactful and frankly so versatile that I think it's really the best tool to be using on sunsets. Let me show you. Now I've got two sunsets taken on the same night. There's this one and then this one. Same location, same sunset, just separated by, I don't know, 20 minutes or something like that. But they were both taken with a small, like a one inch sensor camera. They're a little bit grainy. They need a lot of work. I'm not doing any of that here. I did brighten this one a little bit and give it a tiny bit of contrast. So that's what it started out as, and that's where it is now. I just wanted to brighten it so you could see it better. But what I wanna do is get in here to Color Balance, which is in Color Harmony, which is in the Pro section on the Editing tab, and get down here and kind of walk through it. So um, if you're not familiar with Color Balance, I've got countless videos about it. I've got a video there that will explain what it does. But uh, as you can see here, you can choose from the drop-down menu, Shadows, Midtones, and Highlights. And then within each of those, you can basically pick a color. And the more you drag toward that color, the more of it shows up in that area of the photo. So I'm in shadows. And if I look at cyan and red, if I go to the right, the shadows will get red. And the further I go to the right, the more red they'll get. Now that's obviously overdone. I'm gonna hit reset. But what I wanted to show you is basically how much of an impact you can have on a sunset just using this tool and nothing else for color. So. Here we go. What I often find myself doing is kind of going a little bit toward the blue in the shadows and a little bit toward the magenta and the warmer tones in the highlights. Let me show you what that looks like. So a little bit toward the blue in shadows would be kind of toward left, which is cyan. And down here in this bottom one, kind of toward the blue on the yellow blue. And you can see that's honestly had a huge impact on the photo and I didn't really move it that far, but there it is before and there it is after. I'm getting a higher contrast photo and I think that looks really good. Now I can choose highlights from the drop down and come over here and maybe go a little bit toward the red in the highlights and maybe a little bit toward the magenta as well. And that's further enhanced the photo. And I think honestly, there it is before and there it is after. I think honestly, I've got a pretty stunning sunset. Now to be clear, it's quite obvious this actually was a very stunning sunset, but I'm talking about the colors and I think how it's kind of amplified or you know enhanced the photo. I think this color harmony or specifically color balance has done an amazing job. Now I'm gonna reset these and I'm gonna do the opposite just kind of for fun to show you how you can get a different look. So in shadows, instead of going to the blue, I'm gonna go a little bit toward the red and maybe a little bit toward the magenta and the yellow. And then I'm gonna go over here to highlights and I think I'm gonna go a little bit toward the blue here, the cyan and blue, and maybe the blue down here in the yellow and blue. Now it's a very different look, a lot softer, a little bit more subtle, but I like it quite a bit. In fact, if you turn it off, there it is before, and there it is after. I think that looks pretty sweet. Now I'm ignoring the, the mid-tones, but you don't have to ignore them. Every photo is gonna be different. So we could try mid-tones. I could come in here and see what happens with the mid-tones. I can get a little bit more magenta. I don't want green. I pretty much never go toward green in any photo, especially a sunset, but that's personal uh, preference. Maybe if I try a little bit of blue, there's you know usually a fair amount of mid-tones, so it's gonna get pretty blue. Um, and if I go this way, I'm gonna get a lot of magenta. This way, I'm gonna get probably a fair amount of red, but those are some minor adjustments in all three of those tonal ranges. And I was able to go from that sunset to that one. I think it's pretty impactful and uh, hopefully it gives you an idea of what I'm talking about. Now, let me show you this other sunset. I haven't done anything to this photo other than uh, correct some of the optics on it. It was really um, distorted. So I adjusted that, but I haven't done anything else and in fact, I actually might come up here and just go into the light tool and increase the exposure a little bit because I really want you to be able to see the color differences. I think I'll leave it right there. Again, this is not a full editing job. I mostly just wanna show you the power of color balance on a sunset. So I'm gonna go back over here to shadows. And as I said, I typically what I do is I'll go a little bit left to get a little bit more blue in the shadows. You can kind of see how that's impacting the photo. I think that looks pretty awesome and I haven't even done anything really. But there it is before and there it is after. You can see as you darken, uh, you're darkening those shadows because you're 
the shadows are kind of blue. You're adding more blue to them, so it's making them darker, which is creating a bit more contrast. I think that looks pretty awesome. And then when I come down here to highlights and give that a little bit of the red and maybe a little bit of magenta, I think you're gonna, yeah, I mean, you're getting a very, very colorful and powerfully colorful image. So there it is before. You know, it, it just, honestly, I was just lucky. We, it, this was the Amalfi Coast in Italy. We were sitting on a balcony at a restaurant having dinner, and I, all I had was this tiny little pocket camera, and this sunset came together and couldn't leave, but I definitely got up from the table for a while and shot this. It was just unreal. Anyway, um, but that is before Color Harmony or Color Balance, and there it is now. So pretty powerful edits, and now I'm going to go do the opposite once again. I'm going to go back to shadows, and this time maybe go a little bit red or magenta in the shadows just to kind of see how that looks. Maybe a tiny bit of yellow. And then I'm going to come over here to the highlights and go a little bit more toward the blue and see what kind of look I come up with. And you know, especially this yellow blue as I drag that more on the highlights, I think that looks pretty nice. Let me show you the before and after. There it is before and there it is after. It's a little bit tamer, a little bit more muted. I'm going to go into the mid-tones though and give that a little bit of warmth, a little bit of red, maybe a little bit of magenta. That's getting pretty colorful, fairly uh, magenta cast overall, maybe a little too much. But the point is you're able to quickly and powerfully impact those colors in the sunset. There it is before and there it is after. And this is just really just hacking around. Now, I did brighten the photo. You saw that. But you can just see the colors, how much different they are. And as I said, you know, you'll often use golden hour or split toning or even just the basics in the light tool like temperature and tint maybe saturation and vibrance and color, maybe even in HSL, getting into color and those specific channels. And they're all great things to do. I'm just saying, don't ignore the power that's at your fingertips here with color balance because there's so much you can do in such a short amount of time, almost no effort at all, just playing with highlights and shadows and maybe sometimes the midtones with color balance helps you really find a powerful color combination because it gives you so much control. I just wanted to share some thoughts about that because I was kind of playing around with some photos. And of course, I, I just like to play with photos, but I was playing with these sunsets with color balance and I was like, you know what? That might give some people some ideas. Now again, neither one of these is a full edit. It's too much highlights there. It's a little too bright in that center section. Definitely need to work on the photo. I was just focused on this one tool and the impact it has on the color. So I wanted to be clear, this isn't a full edit. But hopefully it gives you some ideas about what you can do with color balance and how powerful and impactful it can be on a sunset because it can honestly completely change the mood of your sunset and intensify those colors pretty significantly and pretty easily and quickly. Hope it gives you some ideas, my friends. Hope it gives you some hints or some tips about what you may be able to do with your own photos and uh, something that you can go try. So have fun out there editing, have fun taking photos. I'll be back really soon. Thank you for watching, my friends. I'll see you soon and adios.